Hi guys. Welcome, welcome to the kitchen, my friends. Welcome to the kitchen. Uh, we're going to start backwards tonight. We're going to start on a couple pieces that were already completed because so many people have asked that I show dry results and I don't remember. Like, I seriously don't remember. I paint quite frequently, not as frequent as I would like because of chores and children and all the rest of it. But I tend to paint things, I finish them, I sell them, they move on. So let's just backtrack. So this is our, this is, I want to call it a church charcuterie board, but that's not actually what it is. Um, these are the bamboo boards that I picked up at the dollar store. They're actually in the barbecue section and they call them barbecue scrapers. So I tape everything off really nice and tidy because I don't like messy edges. So this is actually the front of the board and the manufacturer stamps their logo on it and it's kind of ingrained in the bamboo. So if you pour on this side, you can actually see that in your painting. So I've taken the tape off this obviously, but normally I tape all of this all the way around and I taped this edge nice and straight. So I try to take my tape off before the paint is completely dry and then it comes off easy. But if it bleeds out a little bit, you can just give it a light sanding. So my plan on this one, it is going into my work for a lady's wall. Um, so I'm just gonna stain this and they're really pretty with just a little piece of like rattan or jute to hang on the wall. And the back is the same. So when you tape it off again, if it bleeds a bit, cause it does, um, you know, burnish all your edges with just a popsicle stick, make sure they're stuck down really, really well. But if it does bleed, just take a light sanding block and just go over your edges. And it just gives it a nice smooth finished look. Super easy. I masked this one which was painstaking. Um, if you wanna do it a quick and simple way, pick up a roll of just cheapy dollar Matac from the dollar store, pop it down, X-Acto knife, cut it all around. So that's that piece, all done, dried nicely, no cracking, no problems. And here's my next piece. So this piece has dried really, really nicely as well. This was my uh, $1.50 canvas from the garage sales. So I have pulled off the tape on this. The edges are a little bit ratty, so you can take just electrician's tape and go around this, whatever you want. It's super, super easy. Um, there was no hanging hardware on this one. Some of them have hanging hardware, and if I don't like the orientation, I just pop that off as well. And that's that one. So I'm not going to resin this. Um, the colors are really nice and really bold and I'm not always a big one for like really uber shiny Sometimes I just like things nice matte finish. So I think I'm gonna leave this as is Just like that and my man The man my man is hanging over With his girlfriend actually on a hook on my wall and a lot of people have asked why I'm going to repaint him And there's not really a good reason. I like him He's a bit busy for me, and I have never painted a three-dimensional surface, so it was really just kind of a lesson, and it was a super fun project to do, but I think I can do better. So I'm going to take him out on the grass on my days off and throw a wet towel on him because that's what we do with dirty boys, and I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get the paint off. All right, let's paint. Uh, this is a fiber board. It's, uh, I don't know, about six by, I think, 16. So they're really flimsy. This is really flimsy. So it has to remain flat to dry. But once it's once it dries, they're perfectly fine. Um, I get these for free from a little shop out around where my mom lives. My mom actually gets them for me. And the company sells candles and bric-a-brac and novelty stuff. And it comes in packing crates. And these are the dividers that they use in the packing crates. So for me, they're perfect. Perfect. So I am going to... What am I going to do? I don't know if I'm going to bloom or swipe or transfer... Let's start with pillow paint. So this is beauty tone. It's in a cup. It's in a, just a cup that I stuck a coffee lid on so that it didn't get dry. Uh, this is beauty tone paint from Home Hardware in Canada. Uh, this is velvet, right out of a can. And we're gonna start with that. So here's my next little trick, you guys. Look at what I did. 
what a clever cookie. So these, these containers are a little bit different. These are Betty Crocker containers. They sell these ones at the Dollarama and I bought them because they fit nicely in my muffin cup pan and because I don't plan on ever making muffins again, it's ideal. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's swipe. What do you think? Sure, okay. Uh, this is Atelier Blue Black. So these are all just mixed with my normal pouring medium that I use, the Velspar Ultra Deep Base Polyacrylic and Glue. This is Golden Ochre by Amsterdam. So I tried to get Payne's Gray, but I couldn't find any today in my collection of stuff, so. Uh, this is a mystery. I'm not sure what this is, but it's kind of a goldy color. So we're just going to call it gold. And this one is, it looks like titanium buff, but it's actually a little bit of decor white satin enamel mixed with Amsterdam acrylic and a little tiny, tiny bit of golden ochre in it. And then this one is, this is metallic copper by Folk Art. And that's that. So we're going to swipe it out in black, I believe. And maybe a bit of white. So I'm going to put my swipe right on my palette knife. I can't find my nice big palette knife. Uh, this is the Aussie Flow Troll. And let's add something to this. Let's add some of the gold to this. All right, here we go, you guys. my first swipe. Same thing, repeat the process. This time I'm going to put a little bit of the golden ochre on. Wiping off my palette knife each time. So I have to tell you guys, I have a story. Of course you have a story you're all saying. Um, just like my paints call me, every once in a while I get this calling to go to the casino, which doesn't happen very often because I'm super, super cheap and I know that the casino odds are not in my favor to win. But it still calls me. So my birthday was yesterday. And I talked myself out of and into going to the casino for the better part of the week. And I finally got dressed the other night. I thought, to hell with it. Just go to the casino, take some money, and just go. I'm going to put a little bit of white swipe in here. I kind of wrecked this part. So I took my money knowing very well that I was probably going to leave my money behind and off I went and I was there about half an hour and I was up I put my hundred dollars in I'm going to move my paint put my hundred dollars in and I won a little bit of money and I was up to like 525 and I kept telling myself like walk away walk away walk away but I thought well I haven't been there for very long and we're just gonna scoop and drag some of this as well so I thought just just keep playing so I kept playing and I put my money into this machine I hit the button and all these bells and whistles went and I won a $1,200 jackpot it was like happy birthday to me which at that point I immediately cashed out because I have to buy a fridge for my suite downstairs and I thought, that's it, it's a free fridge. All right guys, I'm just gonna 
scoop and drag some of these paints out and we're just gonna play with it for a few minutes yeah it was pretty exciting kind of thing never happens to me it was my meant to be my meant to be moment Smoosh some of this around while we're while we're doing stuff here. So I'm just scooping it up and just pulling it out a little bit. Um, I know you guys are all familiar with Jessica Winterstrom. This is Jessica's amazing technique and no one can hold a candle to that girl she is just a stylized artist all in her own so if you haven't checked out her channel check her out and i will i'll actually leave her link in the description box she's incredibly amazing to watch just an inspiration all in herself so I, like I said, cannot hold a candle to what she does, but I sure have fun trying. She has the most eloquent hand movements for moving the paint. It's, it's really quite mesmerizing to watch her. So take advantage of watching her and learning from her and watch how she manipulates her paint and watch her hand movements. Don't just watch, but actually watch. It's, it's just incredible. So kudos to you, Jess. Okay, let's spin this a little bit. I'm actually going to just... Move a little bit of this paint around. Hopefully, I don't spin it all off. Okay, here we go, you guys. Oh goodness, it's slipping, it's sliding. Let's just, I'm going to get my scraper. I think I'm going to get my scraper. Hmm. Can't find my scraper, you guys. take a little bit of this paint off the end I don't have a cup I don't have a scraper it's tough times in the kitchen tonight you guys quite interesting all right I'm gonna put you on hold for a minute because I really need to find a sc my scraper my big fat scraper my granddaughter had it so it could be anywhere sometimes she helps ground scrape the paint off the floor put you on hold and I hope I don't lose you.
All right, I'm back. So as always, parts I like and parts I don't like. Um, love the colors. I really, I'm going to spin it one more time. And let's see if we can just kind of maybe cover it all. I'm happy with the fact that I didn't put way too much paint on it. So basically what I scraped off was not so much, not so much at all. I'm trying to be less wasteful. All right, that's pretty fun actually. I think that I will stop here and maybe call this done. I've been I've been just dying, dying to paint, and my paints have been sitting out. And my granddaughter came up, and so everything got put on hold. And then my granddaughter left, and they went and had dinner, and I got all set up to paint again. And then they came back, and I'm just gonna put this aside for two seconds. I'm gonna wipe off this paint. Pretty good, not so bad for wasting. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna scrape it into a birthday Chinese food container. I'm gonna give this a wipe off. And then we're going to have a look at it and see if we've done anything that we are even remotely happy with. All right, so it has some really pretty areas. It's a little more coverage than what I prefer, but... A lot of people really like full coverage pieces and I've sold quite a few full coverage pieces. So I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. Just a little bit of maybe shifting here. Make sure I have enough paint off of it, which I'm pretty sure I do. All right, I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up. This is pretty wild and wonderful. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put you on hold again if I can find the button. All right, I found the button. Very hard to see in my kitchen. Um, there, I'll move my arm. A uh, beautiful, beautiful blue-black. Blue, black, and quinacridone nickel azo gold and all these beautiful warm colors are so pretty together. Um, there's some really nice areas that I really, really like. I love this. I like these little striations of the blue coming down. Little pockets of cells. Definitely lots of fun things going on. Yeah, I love those little lines. All right, my friends, there it is with my shadow in the picture. I can't do anything about it.